According to the great yoga master, Paramahansa Yogananda, yoga is an art as well as a science. It is a science because it offers practical methods for controlling body and mind, thereby making deep meditation possible. It is an art, for unless it is practiced intuitively and sensitively, it will yield only superficial results. Often the mind cannot concentrate simply because of tension or illness in the body. This tension prevents the energy from flowing to the brain, allowing ease of the mind-body connection, and in addition creates harmful emotions. Yoga teaches us how to work with energy of the body through breath control. Through controlling the breath, we can still the mind and calm the emotions to attain higher states of awareness. We learn to direct our concentration in such a way as to merge our consciousness with the infinite. Yoga means union. It means uniting the little self with the higher self. The primary purpose of Ananda Yoga is to raise consciousness. Hence its full name, Ananda Yoga, for higher awareness. Ananda Yoga not only includes asanas and breathing techniques modified and suited to the physical needs of the practitioner, but also meditation and the classical teachings of yoga philosophy. Swami Kriyananda, who developed Ananda Yoga, describes the practice in the following way. You are practicing what might be called meditation in action, movement meditation, as if you were doing a spiritual dance. The way you get into and out of a pose is as important as the pose itself. It helps to create a mood, a state of consciousness. Your state of consciousness while doing the poses is a very, very important part of the poses. These poses are intended to change your whole being, and that being is a radiation outward from within. What you are within, that you will be without. Ananda Yoga has helped to raise the quality of many people's lives. Our teachers operate from a spirit of service and respect towards their yoga students. They too are students of yoga and life, and teach with an understanding that each student comes with a unique set of normal human worries, preoccupations, gifts, hopes, and dreams. Through Ananda Yoga, we learn to direct energy from the periphery of the body to its center and to raise the energy upward to the spiritual eye or chakra that lies at the point between the eyebrows. The more we do this practice, the more we experience a state of harmony and joy physically, spiritually, and emotionally. In short, the more we discover the truth of Jesus' statement, the kingdom of heaven is within.